Another day, another replay. Hello everyone, I'm here with a uh, Soul Tree replay today. So, um, what is the, the, the reason behind me showing this replay? It's it's going to be played by Trime again. Um, okay, let's read our talk first. Yeah. Um, there we go. Okay. Um, why am I showing this replay? Oh boy, she's talking so much. Uh, it's because it's going to be uh, pretty much no Battleforge points, no upgrades replay. So we do have Forsaken unupgraded here, and all the other cards are uh, unupgraded as well, and uh, there are no cards that aren't part of the starter deck used. So just a little expert run that you can do without any cards so as you may know there is going to be a reset of cards and uh, Battleforge points and all that stuff so um, maybe this replay will be useful to show how to um, sort of how to farm farm gold by expert maps or something if, if it's going to be useful um, we do have another squad of uh, logo low upgrade forsaken first wave is going to be defended and we do have the double power well taken that early into the game so a lot of people may don't know that you can take these these wells that early because the next upcoming wave is going to go full full ham onto these power wells if they are taken too early but um, Chaim is apparently making a quite quite nice move here he's first of all frenzying the forsaken to get more damage off to, to deflect this attack and as you can see, it's completely aggroing down onto this power well. So these units aren't affected by by these uh, these incoming units, and they can free DPS onto them, which is a pretty pretty nice move to keep these power wells alive. If you if you don't go for that, you can take uh, take these power wells just way way later into the game. Like you have to kill the entire wave, and then you can, or maybe s start. Um, start to aggro the wave and then go around with one unit and pick pick them up. But like this, she's getting uh, access to powers very very early into the game, and that is important on Soul Tree, as you start with zero void, and uh, having the the double amount of power worlds that early into their game means he has the double amount of power income. Tier two, right here. Okay, there is Viridia assisting us. Let's go. Thanks for the freeze. So apparently, I guess we will see a Stone of Tournament Night right now because that is going to clear out this entire wave by its own. On its own. So uh, he's damaging the big creatures a little bit with uh, all his uh, defenders. So. There's a Stone of Torment gets gets them down in time as well. I think if you upgrade him, he will do this without any support of the small small arches here. But yeah, this is a very very effective effective way of clearing this entire entire attack here with uh, very very low power. So nature tier two, interesting. So. Let's check. He has four, still four powers. Didn't do anything, anything big regarding the Stonekin creatures here. He's uh, still damaging, damaging these uh, fighters because I think they will get out of the freeze quite early. Um, and I think the Stone of Torment also teleports slower when he isn't upgraded. So this is a pretty, pretty useful move, I guess. Because I think the Stone of Torment doesn't get all units uh, into his radius before they break free from the from the freeze. Yeah, yeah, there, there they go. That is what I meant. But yeah, the big the big ones seem seem like they end up dying. So as you can see, due to the lower damage, it's pretty essential to pick these powers up as early as possible, so you can get down the Stone of Torment immediately. These units are getting out of out of the freeze, but that is fine for now. Um, yeah, 
quite quite nice defense with uh, these upgrade zero cards so far and he didn't spend that much power he's uh, sitting on 240 power which is quite nice so this one dies this one dies boom sweet so now he's getting these two powers for free and he kept the power to go to three So it's frost. Now it's time to walk up and uh, make uh, make a path for Viridia so she she can reach uh, the soul tree. This is there are a lot of L units on that ground, so we may see silver when lances. No, the swamp drag. Interesting. I wonder what he's doing with the Swamp Drag, because it's low DPS for that unit, so no, yeah, it's not targeting them, because otherwise that would be not effective, I think. Oh, okay, I see. So, the Freeze is completely dealing with those, and he's, oh, okay, he's getting getting the Rage Flame done, because I think the the damage spreads onto, onto all the defenders, so getting that one out of the way is quite nice, especially since it cannot attack air units so that that's that's kind of nice to, to deal to deal with that effectively and yeah the freeze is sort of keeping keeping Viridia busy over here so she doesn't run up so that one's done for now and maybe he's getting getting the stone warriors done next because I think um, I think he's the big creatures are too too strong, at least the the ranged ones and the Excel unit, or maybe he's trying to pick off the uh, the next rage flame. So yeah, they are the silver lancers. Expected that to to be played as they are quite effective. F play for free cards if you say so. It, well, it, you can get all cards play for free right now, but let's say starter their cards. Okay, he's getting getting the rage flame done, so that's quite nice. And I think now both armies sort of meet each other. And yeah, the, the aggressor is going to be targeted. Yeah, he's, he's quite annoying, but the Silver Lancers did tank up the first shot, so the the Rish Knights aren't affected too much. I think he has Surge of Light in his deck, if any, anything would get close, but everything works, works fine so far. So Stone Warrior here getting picked off and now there's only that one big big guy here left that's going to come onto the army but Silverwood Lancers are quite nice tanks against that so he doesn't uh, get oinked due to the boss immunity but the other units are um, sort of CC'd and not sure why this one managed to break free but still everything looks quite clean so the big guy dies. I think the exile damage from the swamp drake is uh, very useful against uh, against that. And another source of crowd control against these units. And you can see now everything seems to seems to be safe. And uh, now Viridia is going to reach the soul tree. The soul tree is near. Yeah, he kills kills the swamp drakes. He's probably using tier four right now to clear to clear the space here. And now we do see. Um, where's the big attack? I can't see it. Let's see how Viridia demolishes them. There we are. And boom! There we go. I want that spell for for my PvP games. <laughs> oh, oh well, there there is Void Storm that can pretty much do that. But yeah, um, tier four incoming here. Frost again. And now Viridia goes crazy. Yeah. 
So he is having Silverman Lancers to tank off her shots. I guess if he if he if you press hold position with Silverman Lancers, at some point you don't take damage anymore. And yeah, yeah, that's that's exactly what he's doing. So he's pressing the uh, the hold position hotkey here, and that f that way they get spread out further and further by each attack. And at some point, the Viridia attack doesn't apparently hit the hitbox of the Silverman Lancers anymore, as you can see right now. And now they don't take da damage at all. Here, that's uh, that's what I meant. So pretty much, this is going to be tank tank forever. And now he can completely focus down on getting getting his tier four orb. So everything's running running quite clean so so far. Nothing happening over here. Giant worm. I think he used offering to get get uh, some charges, maybe for his giant worm, maybe. Maybe he wants regrowth or something. I don't know, or, or another giant worm. I guess he wants the second one. But let's see. He's at 180 power. So he's uh, having a decent positioning, so it doesn't aggro the range units and also doesn't get paralyzed by the will zapper. So that 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 building here is quite annoying. If this one hits the giant worm, it's going to have a bad time. As as it's quite hard to get out of that. And yeah, these ones are also annoying, the Twilight Whisperer, because they can also uh, disable the Giant Worm attacks. Yeah, there's the second one, so he used the Offering to get uh, get the second Giant Worm. He used it quite early, so the power would flow into the Void Pool as early as possible, so he gets the Giant Worm quite fast. And yeah, with two Giant Worms it's quite easy to get, get rid of these Twilight Whisperers, as they only disable one of them. You just pull the aggro and then you kill kill them with the with the second one. And yeah, there's one Twilight Whisperer left, I guess. Where is there another? No, that's just a Shaman. Yeah. So he's already doing doing some work with the with the giant wolves. I think he should pick off the the Whisperer here maybe at some point. But yeah, sure he needs to stop stop the attack. So Moon appeared. Five thousand damage. Why? Why? Is the PvP card with just uh, so much less damage? <laughs> so yeah, that there, there's the nature attack coming here. He needs to stop that, and he's quite low in power. I, I I think he needs to do something about that here. So maybe rifle cultists will be used to to clear that. Let's see what he's doing. He needs to do something at some point. Otherwise he will lose his orb. So the giant worms are dealing dealing with it. Attack wave. Maybe he just realized that he's getting attacked. Now he has 200 power, so maybe some crowd control or anything. Yeah, they're, they're the Wrath of Cultists and the Chris of Oink. So the L damage is also getting calculated onto the, the big bomb here that is going to be used. Boom. Two, two units are gone for now. So just the spike roots left. Yeah, nice. So far, so far, so good. In the meantime, the sky, f uh, the giant worms are attacking the the main base. I think he needs the regrowth over here. Yeah, there we go. And okay, the the rifle cultists barely managed to to save that orb. But oh, oh, his power went on. I, did he repair any powers? No, he didn't. I'm not sure what he what exactly lowered his power pool here. But he nearly lost his giant worms. That was quite close. So there's another surge of light. So all these heals are also less effective because they are not upgraded right now. But yeah. Um. So the rifle cultists die. So he's trying to, to make a path so a unit can run around and pick up this orb. He doesn't necessarily uh, have to clear the entire base. Um, as it's not, not part of the win condition in this map. There is another squad of rifle cultists. So maybe if he kills these ones and uses a good crowd control at some point, if he kills maybe two or three of the melee units here, then he has uh, the opportunity to run around and pick up this orb here to finish the game. But he, he also needs to do something with the, the will zapper, maybe tank it up with the giant worms or something. Um, yeah, there, there are the giant worms. Yeah, they they are doing good work on on onto that camp. So the majority is cleared, pre cleared right now. So he just needs to get 
gets around that building. That is the the last task that he has right now. So he's using the giant rooms to tank tank the the will zapper. So it's going to crowd control them for f sort of forever. I'm not sure if oh oh these are these ones yeah these ones are crowd controlled as well. But he picks up silver when asks us to pick up the fifth orb. So apparently if this one gets up and I think it will end up getting getting out uh, out of the construction time this map will be over so that was that was a sweet sweet small um, un no upgrade run I think he tr uh, he didn't use that many cards so it's I guess also quite easy to rep reproduce that that one if you if you do the tier one move correctly and get the orbs yeah sweet so maybe this will be quite useful for for some of you that are going to play after the reset is uh, is done because farming expert maps can be can be quite effective and that is a way to clear an expert map in 15 minutes. I mean if you have the MI monument at some point it will be faster for sure because you don't need to clear the entire last base anymore but that's that's another story. So I hope you enjoyed watching this match and I will upload more content quite soon. Have a nice day.